Hi traders, this is Kim from NinjaAddons.com. In this video, I'm going to present you the chart toolbar, which is part of the new Raider Tape Indicator that we developed for NT8. Let's get started. First, we need to load the indicator. One thing very important to remember is that you need to be connected to your data feed because the Raider Tape works with real-time data. And if you're not, then you won't see anything on the chart, all right? Okay, so once you're sure that you are connected, you can open the indicator window, select Ninja add-ons, and click on Raider Tape. As you can see, you have the settings here. And for now, I'm going to leave them as it is because I can change them directly from the toolbar that I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so I'm just clicking on OK, and the Raider Tape is now loading. Okay, so if you look at the chart, you can see that there are three toolbars on the left-hand side. The one at the bottom is the aggregate tape toolbar, which is relative to the aggregate levels. The second in the middle is the basic tape toolbar, which is basically the same as a time and sale window, but with more features. The top one is the Raider tape toolbar that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so the first important thing here is that if you click on the four little arrows, just like that, it will detach the window and put all the settings in a floating window as you can see here. So you can click on the four little arrows to attach the toolbar to your chart again. Okay, so if you click somewhere here, for example, you will see that it will open the settings directly inside your chart. Okay, so as you can see, there are two panels. This one is the order book, and I'll do another video to explain it since it's a new feature that we have added in NT8's radar tape, and I think it's better to separate it from this video, all right? So the one at the top is controlling the aggregate levels that are displayed on the chart, which is one of the main feature of the radar tape indicator. From this tab, you can change the font size, the font style, and the font color when the aggregate hits the ask or the bid price. The second tab is where you can control the four types of levels that the Raider tape detects. There are four types of levels which are PAQ levels, which stands for packet levels that are the smallest. Then you have the block levels, it's a bit bigger. The last two are big levels. IST, which stands for Institutional Levels. They are organized in columns where you can control each time. So the audio alert, you can set that to on and off. You can also change the value of each kind of level, but remember that it is a trigger value. So if you set the PAQ levels to 20, it means that the aggregate levels with 20 or more contracts will be considered as PAQ. And then up until 50 will then be a block level, same for big, from 100 to 249 and above 250, it will be an institutional level. Of course, these values can be changed according to the instrument you trade and also depending on the overall volatility of the markets. You can also change the color. So say, for example, this blue one, it's a big level and I can set it to purple. I can change the transparency or the opacity of the zones. And finally, I can change the extension. The extension means that, for example, here, there is an IST level and I can change its size to make it smaller or bigger. This is very useful because at the end, these levels are simply supports or resistances. And when price go up like here, they may also come back later, giving you a good opportunity to enter long. So by extending, extending the level, it will be easier to see these zones of supports and resistances. The last thing I need to show you is the control buttons that you can see at the top. So uh, the first four buttons control the aggregate levels from PAQ to IST. One important note to remember here is that the first one, PAQ, if it's not set correctly, it can freeze Ninja traders. 
So if you set it with a relatively small value, like here for example, and if you click on it to display the levels, it will supercharge your computer and may even crash NTA due to a lot of calculations and then the drawing. So always remember to properly set it before choosing to display it. This is very, very important. All right. Okay, so the next button here is for rolling over the levels when the future contracts end. So for example, here I am displaying the NASDAQ of March 2018 and we are near the end of March contract which means that in a few days we will have to change to the June contract. This will affect the levels because the new contract will introduce an offset and if you do nothing, all your levels will be at a wrong price level compared to the June contract. So by clicking on this button, when you'll start to trade the June contract, it will roll over your levels and will add the June contract offset to the past levels. And last but not the least, the question mark button. If you click on it, it will bring you to the cPanel window. The cPanel is something that we develop on each of our indicator to better help and show you how you can use the software with embedded video tutorials like this one. And it's also a quicker way to contact us by clicking on any of the buttons right here or follow us on social media like you can see here. All right, well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestion, or feedback, please send us a note at contact at ninja-addons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching. Bye.